Doing a quick test of my uh, dim bulb tester. Uh, the as you can see here, I just switch off the light bulb. Uh, I've got a uh, power cable going into an extension cable. So that's the source of the power goes into this box. That power goes through the light bulb into the socket where your device would be plugged in. Your device makes the continuity, comes back from the socket through the neutral and back down the line. So the light bulb is in series with your device under test. And uh, in this case, I've got a dead short, basically, or a, a device going through uh, an open plug, and I'm measuring that on um, the meter. And as you can see, switching it on, you're getting full mains voltage, basically measuring the current that's going through just the bulb, and it's plateauing at uh, 0.4 amps. This is a 100-watt bulb. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to do it in this case, but if you push that switch... You would then bypass a light bulb, basically putting a, a line between the source input voltage, the live line, and the socket, kind of basically creating a parallel uh, path for current through this short as well as the bulb. The bulb would probably go out, but then the device would then be fully loaded by a direct flow of current through the meter, and I don't want to do that. So this seems to be working nicely, uh, and uh, yeah, just wanted to record that to uh, make sure it's working. What I'll do now is try to find some electrical devices to plug in, which can be loaded and throttled by the light bulbs so that they don't achieve their full uh, current draw because they're limited by 0.4 amps. Okay, something that draws current. This is a mains powered printer, laser jet printer. It draws about two and a half amps according to the specifications. So if I power it through this socket, and uh, well, let's see what happens. So right now the lamp limiter is on, so the bulb is gonna throttle the current. And it's plugged in, so let me switch it on. Okay. So I can get this all in one shot here. This tries to start up. Clicks. The relay switches off and it switches off. So this is clearly tried to, the, the, the on circuitry here, the relay starts up, tries to draw current. It gets capped at full bulb brightness, which is about 0.4 amps, insufficient supply, and so it switches itself off. Uh, if I bypass the bulb and switch it on, There you go, it's now, the relay's clicking, the printer is now starting up. And if I bypass, it's trying to draw current, it's drawing a trickle, insufficient, and now it's kind of got a, a red warning or something. So, in terms of throttling current, the bulb dimmer is working, for a device which would try to consume a much higher current, uh, it doesn't like it. So let's uh, let's try that again. Switch it off at the at the socket here. We've got the dim uh, lamp in series. Okay, let's just power cycle that so that's nothing left. Okay, so this is dormant. We're going to switch it on. We go la di da. Switch it on at the plug. Switch it on at the device. relay can't draw enough current and switches off whereas if i'm an, if i enable the, the bypass so i can just basically put mains voltage straight into the socket the socket is on and we try the device yeah so all of those 200 uh, sorry 2.5 amps it's basically going directly through here. And if I try and short that off, yeah, can't can't draw it and it goes into a sort of error mode. Cool. <clears throat> so 
The dim bulb tester is working in principle. I have measured it. Uh, it's capping at the 100 watt, in this case, 100 watt bulb limit of 0.4 amps. If you replace the bulb with a lower wattage, you'll put a lower cap on the current going through, and you'll always have access to the bypass to power the, the, the device from, from, uh, from the direct mains. So, um, yeah, really pleased with that. Thanks for watching.